are back here on Girl Talk. We are here with Charles from Stoneworks. We're not at Stoneworks. We're actually at one of your projects. And every now and then you walk in, at least I do as a designer, I walk into a home and I'm kind of blown away and go, wow, this is something pretty special especially when I'm looking at a renovation in some of the older homes, and this is something special. Talk to me a little bit about what you all did here because th it's phenomenal. I can't even say anything. Jay Barry over here is the uh, contractor and he did that. My, if I'm allowed to say hell of a good job, he did. It's fabulous. What did you all do here? Well, basically you're looking at the countertops, Debbie, the tile backsplash, and because as we mentioned earlier, this is a rental unit, the homeowner wanted something that she did not have to worry about. Okay. And as we've become accustomed, quartz is the perfect application for that. It's a beautiful countertop. It is a beautiful countertop. And, I, and you and I have talked about it before. Quartz is becoming more and more popular. Why? What makes it such a durable piece? Well, the way that it's comprised or what it's made up. It's 93% quartz, so there's no periodic resealing like you have with natural stone. Okay. From a design standpoint, the, the manufacturers have just become so, they're wide open. Yeah, Anything's exactly. Anything's the limit. No, there's no limit, rather. Correct. When it comes to the color. What I really like about this color, this is sort of the taupey gray mushroom putty color, and I think it goes with so many design motifs. Talk me through the kitchen. Susan did the kitchen for mm -hmm. you. When you were making all these, of these selections, what was the feel that you envisioned and that Susan also envisioned for this? Well, I mean, we were thinking, along with Jay Berry, the contractor, that this is deep in the heart of sea pines. Yes. South Beach, Salty Dog is right behind us. Mm -hmm. The homeowner wanted a low country feel with a little coastal chic. And that's exactly what you pulled off here. Talk to me, if you will, about these subway tiles. To me, it's one of, it is such a classic look. It's really old school to mm -hmm. me, but it's really coming back. The resurgence is amazing. Well, this is a new twist on the subway look in the fact that these tiles actually have a bevel. That, so, yeah. So it brings you some dimension or depth to the actual backsplash, which so, is new. Yeah, that's kind of what I like. That's what I'm noticing, isn't it? Yep. One of the things that I see here is that you've done a lot of combination of very contemporary pieces with very classic and basic pieces. Was that part of the whole project? You guys had fun doing it, you oh, and did. Jay and Susie. Uh, and the homeowner, she had a wide open palette and it helps when you don't have a budget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you said you, as always, you all work really cost effectively. We do, we do. I, I jokingly say that, Debbie, there was a budget and we did our best. To, to fit and find her taste within that budget. Are we allowed to talk about this floor? Sure can. Because it's a pretty groovy floor. It's, it's It's what I want in my house. I Just saying, just saying, throwing it out there. Talk to us if you can a little bit about it. Well, again, it's an engineered floor. Um, it, it's just, it's so user friendly. You, mm -hmm. can't, you can't destroy it. Mm -hmm. Now the next room we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna stand here and talk and we're gonna let you all go in, take a look at the master bathroom. What was your thought there? Because I feel like it looks like a furniture piece has been set in that room. It looks very elegant. Um, there's a lot of space, a lot of good storage space is really what I noticed. Talk me through the master. Well, in the master, Debbie, again, the homeowner wanted something that was gonna be within the budget yet tasteful, and again, just like the kitchen, we chose a quartz product. Okay. It's a beautiful color. It works very nicely with the porcelain tile that she also selected. What's interesting to me about that, um, that piece of quartz, it's a very, what's the right word? It's a very solid look. There's not a lot of action or movement, and I think for that, sp for that space, it's the perfect choice. What kind of floor and bath tile did you all use? Uh, again, that was a porcelain tile, oh, and what's okay. neat about that porcelain tile, that the edges are chiseled, so it has kind of a, an eclectic old world mm -hmm. twist. Mm -hmm. Practical. Very practical. Because I think one of the things when you look at the pieces that, that you all have selected and you think that this is a rental house, when I think rental, I think that wear and tear. And in you and I were talking about it before, you know, we pound and we scrape and we, you know, have furniture and, and, and um, luggage that comes in and right. out. This place will really hold up well. Oh, long term. Now, as I walk down the hall, I noticed the powder room, which also doubles as a shower, and I was blown away. Talk me through that. For the powder room, Debbie, what the homeowner wanted, she wanted something very special and unique, and we were able to find that. Mm -hmm. The countertop, for example, we found in our boneyard, the remnant yard. <laughs> this is my favorite thing, yes. Again, good value. We found a, a piece of stone that works with mm -hmm. the porcelain tile, 
and the back wall. Now that's all marble. It's stunning. Oh, it's that's what that is. That's true marble, correct? Oh my! And I love the way Jay, I think, did the beautiful doors, exactly. the clear glass yeah. doors. It really opens that space up. I have to, I have to interject this because Charles, Ward, if you've never gone to Stoneworks and you haven't had a chance to go to the bone bon boneyard, see look, look, the boneyard, you have to go. It's pretty fun, and the things that you find there are absolutely incredible. Pretty unique treasures. I mean, it really is. And last but not least, I want to run outside and take a look at the outdoor shower, which I've always wanted. That's perfect. I mean, it's it's absolutely South beautiful. Beach. South Beach, it really is. <laughs> this place is across from Salty Dog, and it's phenomenal, and it is for rent. And and I ha we have to pitch Sea Pines a little bit because they allowed us to come they in and take a so look. They were so gracious to let us come in and, and, and yes. shoot this beautiful property. And I'll tell you what, thank you to Jay Berry, too, because he allowed us to come in and has been here with us, too. And it's, it's pretty phenomenal. If you have a chance, again, if you haven't gone to Stoneworks, please go and take a look. It's, it's, there's something for everyone, every price point, and we appreciate your time. My pleasure, Debbie. Thank you all for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great week. Bye-bye.